This is Port Moody, British Columbia, Canada. A small city just outside Vancouver with a population of just around 35 or so thousand people. And this is the old sawmill where they filmed So this video won't be any sort of deep dive into the VFX of Shogun or the behind the scenes, but seeing as I used to live in this town when they were filming the show, I figured I'd show off what I was able to see. The first thing we'll take a look at is the Portuguese black ship. Now, I believe this set actually also doubles for Blackthorn's ship as well as the Portuguese ships, since they would all be of similar European construction. This is featured prominently in chapters 1 and 3 thus far. Oh, and friendly reminder, minor spoilers ahead in this video, though I'll try not to spoil as much as I can. As you can see for this ship, however, they only built the rear half of the ship. The front half usually seems to be out of focus in the shots and only appears in clearly CGI'd versions of it. The next set we'll talk about is Lord Toranaga's ship, as shown here. From the first few episodes, this does seem to play a bit more of an important role as a main source of transportation for several characters, as well as the grand opening shot to their arrival in Osaka in Chapter 1. Though again, you do see it throughout many water travel scenes, including in Chapter 3. The next portion of the set that I was able to see was fortress or castle walls, plus some of the interior buildings. This is seen prominently in the first three chapters, but especially in chapter one, where Lord Toranaga marches with his retinue into the castle. And as you fly over the wall, you can see the first few buildings were in fact constructed. However, all the buildings behind them are CGI. But the blending is really well done. And again, the walls feature prominently as they exit the castle in Chapter 3. The last main part of the set that I was able to see firsthand was the harbor set. And as you can see, it was pretty extensive with a decent amount of buildings constructed out as well as some harbor platforms. Some of the longer streets were used for some of these long shots, though of course extended in the background with CGI. But it's really cool to see that the harbor was featured prominently, especially in chapters 2 and chapters 3 during, let's just say, the action sequence, not to spoil anything. Now obviously there were a lot more sets involved with the show. Beyond the outdoor sets, there were probably some interior sets and other blue screen stages or stuff like that and as well as some forest locations which they filmed in. 
I'm sure they'll have detailed behind the scenes breakdowns at some point, but it was really cool to see this set in person, even if I had to uh, <clears throat> borrow some drone footage from a nearby local. Anyways, if you're into historical period dramas or Japanese history, this show rocks. I would absolutely recommend checking it out. And hey, if you're ever in this area in Port Moody, you should stop by. The set's not there anymore, but there are six breweries in town nearby, so definitely recommend those. Anyways, that's enough for me. Bear.